Hello, hello, Jose. Welcome. Welcome, Mirna. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> hey, Jose, how are you, Jose? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I am okay. What's going on there? Too? Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. It's a pleasure to see you again, right? Okay, we are exactly at nine o'clock. So, congratulations to be punctual, to be punctual to the class. And now we're going to start uh, with making a review of the last class, right? Repaso, como siempre, okay? Review. So, I will share the, my window, my screen. Okay, so the future with present continuous and be going to, right? Let's watch the video again. Let's watch the video again, right? So are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Examples. She's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus be plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. 
Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okie dokie, let me check this. That's it, right? And here. Good. Now let's see the commentaries. Let's see the commentaries. Read the examples with me. Let's read the commentaries. Felipe, okay, that's nice. Uh, the commentaries of Felipe, right? Just give me a second, I will move this here. I am cooking the dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Simple present or be going to? Mirna, what do you think? This is, uh, sorry, present continuous, sorry. Present continuous or be going to, Mirna? What is Felipe you using? Aha, uh -huh, Mirna. You me, teacher. Uh, Felipe is using be going to or Felipe is using present continuous in I am cooking the dinner tonight. I am cooking the dinner tonight is present continuous. Continu okay. uh -huh. my, my mom is going to work tomorrow. Present continuous or be going to? Be going. Okay, thank you, Mirna. Thank you very much. Now here we have Karen, right? Karen Melendez, right? They are studying English. She's eating tacos. Mmm, delicious. So, present continuous too, right? He is traveling. Okay, aquí solo nos faltó la mayúscula, pero está bien la oración. He is traveling by bus. Present continuous. I am going to take a walk with, I suppose, with a friend, right? So, going to. Mm -hmm. Good examples. Uh, I don't know who wrote this, but let, let's read. What are you going to do tomorrow? I suppose it's uh, the person wanted to write tomorrow, right? What are you doing? Sorry, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to cook. Okay, listen. Uh, aquí la pregunta se, uso, se hizo, perdón, uh, con presente continuo. Y se respondió con be going to. ¿Será posible eso? Blo uh, let me see Mirna, please. No, 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 yes. sorry. No, yes. eh, Gloria, Gloria, ya le preguntamos, ¿verdad, Mirna? So, vamos a preguntarle a Gloria mejor. Gloria, please. ¿Es posible hacer la pregunta con presente continuo y responder con be going to? ¿O se equivocaron aquí? What are you doing? What are you doing? doing tomorrow. tomorrow. Aquí entiendo que todo esto quiere decir I'm... tomorrow, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Pues, I think it's okay. It's okay. Uh, maybe, uh -huh, maybe it's the future. Both are express the future, right? Aquí podemos hacer la pregunta con video. Yes. Contestar con presente continuo. But listen, uh, English is not flat. El inglés no es, ni es cuadrado, ni es plano, ¿verdad? Nosotros podemos contestar como sea ahí. Eh, José Pérez, tenga cuidado, no se me vaya a caer de la silla ahí. <laughs> Que lo estamos viendo de cabeza. <laughs> okay, continue, please. Gloria, Gloria Palma, excellent. What are you going to do this weekend? Uh -huh. I'm going to spend, supongo yo que es spend time at home, right? What are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to spend, okay. Eh, me hizo la pregunta con presente continuo y contestó con presente continuo. Ok, let me see. No more commentaries. My goodness. What happened? ¿Qué me hizo falta ahí? Eh, Oscar, no me he hecho, no me he hecho la, la pregunta ahí, Oscar. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver, Patricia, tampoco veo eh, ejemplos. Ángel y José Magaña, no me han hecho comentarios. Esperamos ver sus comentarios ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. And uh, let's go to the knowledge check, right? Ok, listen, please. Uh, vamos a hacerlo un poco más pequeño para visualizarlo mejor. Ok, good. Complete the invitation with the present continuous. Listen, with the present continuous. Use as future. And the very brackets. 
Uh, I have a question. Did all of you finish? ¿Todos terminaron ya este ejercicio o hay alguien que todavía no lo haya hecho? Yes, teacher. ¿Sí? ¿Sí lo terminaron? ¿Sí? Sí. Yeah. Ok, vamos a poner las respuestas entonces. Ustedes me ayudan. You help me, right? You help me. Vamos a comenzar con Ángel. Ready, Ángel? Ok, now. What? Yes. What? Listen, the present continuous, Ángel, remember, use the verb to be, right? Usamos el verbo to be, Ángel, recuérdelo. Ok. Yes. Ok. What, uh -huh. do What do you tonight? Ok, wait, wait, Ángel, wait, wait. Tenemos que usar el verbo to be, Ángel. Entonces sería, what are, what are, Ajá. ¿Cuál es el sujeto, Ángel? What are you do? Oh, perdón. You. What are you? Ajá. Y ahora va el verbo. Solo me le va a agregar ing. Do. Solo agrégamele ing al verbo. Do. Doing. Ok, Now, ahora la pregunta do. completa. The full question. Come on. What are you doing tonight? Tonight. Ok. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Oops, sorry, sorry. Hicimos un errorcito ahí. Deme un segundito. Nos salimos de la pantalla. Sorry. Uh, por aquí estamos. Ya me perdí. Vamos a ver. Creo que me salí del, de la plataforma. Sorry. Vamos a ingresar nuevamente. Sorry. Oso, oso, right? Just give me a second. Estamos abriendo la pantalla. Ok. Ahora sí, vamos a compartir. Ok, can you see, please? Uh, Gloria, ¿puede ver mi pantalla ahí? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, now. Estamos por acá, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos. Ok. Good evening, everybody. Sorry Good evening, I... Alan. Alan, Alan. <laughs> Sorry, Alan, is Alan, welcome. Vamos a ponerle aquí la asistencia a Alan. Welcome. Ok, now let's continue. Vamos a ver si ahora me permite. Ok, hoy sí. Ah, ok. What? Are you doing? Dijo Ángel, ¿verdad? Ok. Siguiente. Vamos a ver quién me ayuda. Eh, Betty Vázquez. Felipe Betty. Llame <coughs> Betty. Number two, Betty. Remember, it's only present continuous, right? And it's a question. Betty, can you hear me? Parece que le está fallando el micrófono. Bueno, entonces Felipe, please. Felipe, can you help me? Mm, yes, teacher. What is the question, Felipe? Mm. It's a yes no question, right? Felipe, the, the... me puede ver mi pantalla. Felipe, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Estamos en la dos, ¿verdad? Y es una pregunta de sí y no. Entonces, ah, bueno. ¿con, ¿Con cuál comenzaríamos ahí? One, No, vaya, entonces nos va a ayudar. Eh... Yo. Who? Who is yo? Please tell me your Patricia. name. Patricia. <laughs> Patricia, ok. Patricia, help me. Um, sería, are you doing también? Are you, are you doing, doing anything, doing on, anything Friday? On, on Friday night? Are you doing? 
Ok. Number three, please. Vamos a ver. Alan. Vamos a ver si Alan nos, nos ubicamos. Alan, we're using the present continuous, Alan. Ok. Three. And this is... We have... Ajá, uh -huh, come on, please, tell me. We have been friends over for a barbecue Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, we been... We've been. Mm -hmm. But in this case, remember the present continuous use are, um, and is. Having. Right? Are having. We are. We are having. We are. We are. Okay, we are thanks. having. We are having. We are having. Correct me, please. Me corrige se me equivoco, Alan. That's correct? No, no it's you. No, no. You need to, to, to credit the E, right? Okay. Esa es una de las reglas que aprendimos ayer. Ajá. Uh -huh. If the verb ends in E, you omit the E, and then you, you, you copy, right? Having. We're having. Okay, number four. You four. stay. You stay, right? Uh, who's going to help me? Uh, Jose Magaña, please. You Jose? Stay Are you staying? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, Are you staying? Are you staying? Okay, please. Number four. Are you staying? Tom? Okay. Are you staying? Are you staying, right? Are you staying? Okay. Are you staying in town next week? In town next week. Thank okay. you very much. Now let's go to the second part. In this case, we're going to use be going to, not the present continuous, okay. right? Be going to. Okay. Uh, going to. Repito, hay alguien que no lo ha hecho todavía porque si no estamos haciendo trampa, ¿verdad? ¿Todos lo hicieron ya? Sí, a todos, yes. creo okay. yo. Okay, very good. Very good. Y hoy nos acompaña Katia. Aquí le estamos poniendo asistencia a Katia también. <laughs> Welcome, Katia. Ok, vamos a ver quién sigue. Um, eh, José Pérez, please. José, can you help me with number one, please? No, no, teacher. The next person. The next, the next class. The next person. The next person, okay. But pay attention, Jose. Okay, Karen, please. Karen. Karen, can you hear me? Number one, please. I'm going, I'm going to be here ah, okay. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I am going, going to be. be here on Saturday, right? Uh, uh, teacher. Uh, yes. ¿Usamos contracción o no? Es con contracción. Porque es con contracción, va. Ya lo probó usted, vamos a ver si no. Sí, solo es con el apóstol. Así. Only apóstol, ok, good, thank you. Yes. Number two, right? Well, my father, eh, let me see, Katia. Katia, eh, me imagino que observó los temas en la plataforma, ¿verdad, Katia? Aquí está. No yet, actually. No yet. No yet. Okay, but we're using yeah. this, we are using the, the be going to, right? Yes. So my father, you use my father is or my father are? Is going to. Ah, you see. And you, you say that you didn't see the platform, right? But it's correct. It's going to busy, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Now let me see. Um, Lisette Ramirez, please. Number three, Lisette. Um, Sorry, I can't. I am going to work over time tonight. I am. I suppose it's the contraction too, right? Yes. I am mm -hmm. going to work. work. Work over time, right? And finally, the last one, number four. Let me see who's going to help me. Uh, Mirna, Mirna again, right? Come on, Mirna. Can you? Yes, help? teacher. Yes. Four, number four. Uh, I'm going to stay. I'm going to, oops, going to stay. Yes. Okay. Now let's submit, right? Vamos a ver si nos equivocamos en algo y si no, pues. Excuse me, we have 10, right? Together, Congratulations. Right? Congratulations, my goodness. Yes. Ya, ya puede, teacher. Ya, 
No, you, you gave me the, <laughs> the answer, right? You gave me the answer. Okay, that's okay. Now we're going to make a special part, right? Tenemos una petición especial esta noche, right? Eh, nos vamos a adelantar un poquito a, a un ejercicio. Mañana voy a dar la explicación, pero hoy vamos a hacer un ejercicio que no, les ha costado mucho a algunos. ¿Ok? Nos vamos a adelantar acá, petición especial. No les voy a decir quién, pero hay algún compañerito de ustedes que, que pidió que nos adelantáramos aquí y vamos a explicar. ¿Ok? Listen. Look at the following scramble sentence. Scramble is eh, desordenado, right? O, bueno, no en el orden correcto. So we're going to scramble. Es rompecabezas, ¿no? Como, no, no. Como un... Rompecabezas es, es puzzle. Puzzle. Uh -huh. uh, like P-U-Z-Z-L-E, puzzle, right? And like when you say scrambled eggs, huevos revueltos. How do you say huevos revueltos in English? You say scramble, scramble uh -huh. eggs. Mm -hmm. so huevos, huevos revueltos o huevos desordenados. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is to put the things in order, right? And the first thing you're going to identify is the use of tell and ask. When I use tell, I, dis, I uh, tell information. Cuando yo uso el, el verbo tell, yo estoy dando información de algo. Estoy pasando algo que va a ocurrir, que ocurrió, que eh, un número telefónico, una fecha, una hora, etcétera, etcétera. Cualquier información. And when I use ask, I am making a petition. Cuando yo uso ask, le estoy haciendo una petición a una persona. ¿Ok? Le pido algo a alguien. Entonces, cada, cada eh, verbo tiene su estructura propia. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Y vamos a comenzar con el verbo tell. ¿Ok? La estructura de tell es tell plus person plus that, que es una opción aquí, plus the statement, la oración que está aquí. ¿Ok? Entonces, vamos a comenzar con tell. Ah, perdón. Y antes de esto hay unas oraciones eh, que hacen más suavecita la, la petición o, o, o pasar el, uh, la información, ¿verdad? Y esas son tres. Would you tell? Could you tell? O please tell. En este caso, vean acá, estamos con el could. Vamos a hacer la primera, ¿verdad? Pero no la voy a hacer solito porque si no les voy a estar dando la respuesta. Oh, ¿Cuál sería el sujeto? You, you. o Joel? You. You, right? Okay. You. Could you? Y ahora no. usamos el verbo tell. ¿A quién le vamos a contar? ¿A quién le vamos a decir? No. Joel. Joel, right? Joel. Joel. Aquí podemos usar that o no podemos usar that. Es la opción de ustedes. Y Ok, y... Y lo demás, pues no lo voy a poner porque ya estaría dando la respuesta. ¿va? Le estaría dando la respuesta. Entonces, lo vamos a dejar ahí. Y ahí le ponemos que la, eh, que la reunión es a las 3, que la película es a tales horas, que, que eh, etcétera, etcétera. La información que está ahí. ¿no? Yes, tell me. Sí, pero usted le pondría en paréntesis el DAT porque mm. yo ya probé con okay. paréntesis, son paréntesis. Yo lo que haría, Gloria, es no ponerle edad. Igual he probado. ¿Y no le dio? Sin, sin eso, no. No le dio. No, 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 no se le pone a eso. No, no se, se le pone. pone. Sí, sí, sale Yo le puse el edad y sí me sale. No se le escribe. Vaya, vamos a ver. Edad también está correcto. Lizeth me parece que dijo que con edad. Vamos a probar sí, con los dos. Con edad ¿no? me sale Vamos correcto. a probar con los dos. Vamos a probar con los dos. Edad... Vamos a hacer una excepción. ¿vale? Vamos a, a copiar toda la oración. Could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven, right? Seven. Yes. Y el, el question mark, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Es que mm -hmm. mi computadora me cuesta el question mark. Uh, could you tell uh, Could you tell Joel that The movie is at 7 o'clock. Ok, ya no tenemos nada más. Vamos a ver si es cierto. 
submit. Está correcto, con that, that. Con that está correcta. Vamos a quitarle el that. Y va a estar correcto también. También va a estar correcto, bueno. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Yes, it's correct. Entonces, sí. yo creo que ustedes me Entonces, están probando. Que que, que ustedes, ustedes querían... Ah, que esa, cosa, la... esa cosa no es así. Una vez que ya le sale en verde, la próxima vez siempre le va a salir en verde. Tiene que probar otro, a huevo. Otro. A mí me salió correcto, teacher. <risa> no, it is. Okay. No, it is. Ok. I don't no, know. I cannot tell, right? No puedo... con la siguiente. Pero lo que pasa es que ustedes me están haciendo trampa. Quieren que le tenga respuesta. <risa> ok. En la otra vamos a probar eh, sin dat. Vamos a ir a, a uno adelantado. En la número 3. Right? Aquí está tell también. ¿Sí? No, oh, una con ask. Wait, wait. Es que lo que pasa es que eh, me dicen por ahí que con dat o sin dat es correcto, es incorrecto. Entonces, ahora, ah, vamos, okay, okay. Hoy, ahora vamos a probar sin dat. Ok. Y comenzamos. Ayúdenme, por favor. Ajá, ¿con qué comenzamos? Please. Please. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please. Don't go. Ok, please tell. Tell. Eh, Eva. 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 Okay. Eva. Daddy concert. No, hoy no vamos a usar that, dijimos, ¿verdad? No. Ah. The concert. The concert. The concert. The concert. Eh, Is on, on Saturday, Saturday, right? On Saturday, sorry. The on Saturday is canceled. Is canceled. Saturday, sorry. Saturday is canceled. Eh, como es please, no le vamos a poner pregunta, le vamos a poner punto. Okay? Point. Yes? Help me, please. Yes or no? Yes, correct. Vaya, yes. para yes. que yes. sigan. Para que no digan que el teacher se equivocó, sino que ustedes también se equivocaron conmigo. Please tell Eva the concert on Saturday is canceled, right? No le hemos puesto that. Vamos a ver si sale bien. Sale bien. Vamos a ver. ¡Tan! Ok. Prueba superada, ok. So, <risa> quiere decir que pone, podemos poner that... O no podemos poner that, right? Y mm -hmm. solo le puedo dar la 2, la 4, la 5 y la 6 la hacen ustedes, ¿verdad? No, no me están haciendo trampa. Ok, now. With us, structure is the next, right? La estructura con us es la siguiente. Que conste que esta clase la voy a dar mañana para que quede bien claro, ¿verdad? Con us, la fórmula es ask plus person plus to plus the request. La petición, el request va al final. Entonces vamos a poner primero la oración suavecita, ¿verdad? Sería, would you? Good. Would you, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Would you. Ya dijimos que son dos oraciones, tres oraciones. Could you, would you, and please, right? Mm -hmm. Could you and would you son preguntas. Entonces vamos a ponerle el signo de pregunta al final y en please le vamos a poner un punto. Si en please me le pusieron signo de interrogación, ahí está el problema, ¿ok? O, o viceversa, si en could you o would you me le pusieron un punto y no el signo de interrogación, ahí está el problema, porque no le sale bien. Sigamos. Would you ask... ¿Cuál es la persona? Ayúdenme, por favor. Mitch. Mitch. Ya no me acuerden de esos días oscuros de lluvia en El Salvador. Mitch. Would you ask Mitch? Va, después de eso, ¿qué sería? Vamos a poner that o you no. Know? Vamos a poner that, yes or no. no. A mí me salió buena sin that. Es que no lleva that. Con ask no lleva that. No, con ask no lleva that. Ni sin mm -hmm. ni con, ¿verdad? Así es que en este mm -hmm. caso vamos a poner la preposición to. To. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos? Mm -hmm. To. Cuando es tell, vamos a poner that. Mm -hmm. Omitimos si quieren. Y cuando es ask, ponemos la preposición to. Would you ask Mitch to? Y luego viene uh, del verbo, ¿verdad? Aquí me hace falta el verbo en esta. Ok, pero es el request. To. La oración pick empieza me. con el verbo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. pick, pick me up. Ayúdenme, por favor, para que no digan que yo le estoy dando la respuesta. Pick me up. Pick me up. 
around at home at around home. around for home around at or, or no at at at, at, at around, home right? around. Okay, wait at wait home. a minute at home for okay wait que hasta ahorita la estoy haciendo yo también eh, pick me pick me home es pick me home yes pick me up home at home Bye. At home. Pues, porque si me equivoco también ustedes se van a ir conmigo <ríe> 4 p.m. ok vamos a vamos a ver si está correcto at around out at wait 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 would you ask me oh, well. to pick me up aquí oh, wow. Lo importante es el verbo. To pick me up at home around 4 p.m. ¿Hay dos at o solo hay un at? Solo hay uno. 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 Pero hay dos uno. ask. Hay dos ask. Ah. Pero no sé si es que uno está de más. Porque... Ver, pero solo se ocupa uno. Vamos Ajá. a ver, permítame. Vamos a... Would you ask me to pick me up at home at la oración está correcta. At, around four. Sí, creo uno está de más. Sí, está uno de más. Ya ven que a veces hay cositas. Esto eh, hay que anotarlo porque, ¿verdad? Para reportarlo. Ok, vamos a ver si estamos en lo correcto. That's correct, right? Estamos en lo correcto entonces, ¿sí? Ok, pero el complemento casi no es importante, ¿verdad? Lo que me interesa a mí es que ustedes vean que con ask se le pone la preposición to y después el verbo. Pick. Este es un verbo compuesto, ¿verdad? Pero podría ser to go, to, to, to eat, to run, to fly, etcétera, etcétera, right? Ok. Eh, ¿Estamos satisfechos aquí de la explicación? Yeah. ¿Sí es? Vaya. Yes. Bye. Mañana lo vamos a volver a ver. <laughs> Pero ustedes me van a la respuesta, ¿ok? Now, after this, let's go to the class of today. Pero vamos a la clase de ahora, porque si no, me van a regañar si no les doy la clase ahora, ¿ok? <laughs> Now, can, can you see? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. yes. Conversation. Yes, Can I take a message, right? And message it with tell and ask. Okay? Ahora sí vamos a ver la teoría, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos a hacer al revés. Primero nos fuimos a hacer el ejercicio. Ya veo que sí entienden. Y vamos a ver la teoría en un video. Please, listen. The lesson objective. Please, who's going to help me reading? Eh, Oscar, can you help me reading the, the objective, please? The verse tell and ask will be introduced in a conversation between two people taking on the phone. Very good. Two people talking on the phone. Thank you very much, Oscar. And the vocabulary for today are tell, ask, message, meeting, polite. Oh, sorry, excuse me. And polite, right? Now, please repeat after me, please. Tell. Tell. Mm -hmm. Turn, turn off your microphone, please. Apaguemos los micrófonos. Turn off the microphone, please. Turn off. Thank you. Okay, now, continue, please. Ask. Message. Meeting. Polite. Now, let's go to the, to the conversation. Right? Sorry? Polite, kind, kind, amable, político, <laughs> político, Ángel, polite, amable, suave, please, okay, that is polite, right? En la política se usa bastante esto, Ángel, okay, now, let's go to the, to this, to the platform, right, to see the conversation. Okay, here, one, two, three, yes. 
Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Wait a minute. It's here, right? It as many times as possible. Okay, ready? Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Chiki ring. Good morning. Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No. It's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday. Tell her our meeting Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her? Could you? Could you? And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 6465554031. 646-555. 4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Grant the message. I'll give Miss Grant the message. Message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Teacher. Yes, tell me, Jose. I don't know you say, please tell her, es un link en vowel. Link, correct. So you, you have to say, tell her. Listen, I will tell you some examples. Tell him, tell, tell him. Tell her, tell her. Tell, tell them. Tell, tell them. So you have to link the sounds. Link the sound, right? Also here. Look, ask, right? Where is it? Uh, ask here. Ask her. Ask him. Ask them. So it's a link sound. Link sound. 
Okay? Any other question? Questions, questions? Remember, I love questions. Number one, I am not only your teacher, I am your friend. So don't worry, right? Don't be ashamed. No se sientan apenados. Don't be ashamed. Make questions. No problem. Yes? You know. Uh huh. You love the question because it's cinco. <laughs> cinco. Cinco. <laughs> cinco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, please, you're going to help me uh, repeating for me, right? We're going to start with uh, Betty. Betty Vasquez, can you hear me, Betty? Betty, hello, say hello. Okay, yes, Betty. Teacher. Repeat. Only hello, you, Betty. Teacher. Only you, please repeat. Good morning, Parker Industries. Good repeat. morning, Parker Industries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Danny, Danny Sandoval. Danny, only you, Danny. Repeat after me. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Good, very good, excellent, Danny. Okay, Felipe, ready, Felipe? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, repeat after me. I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Thank you. Next one, please, Gloria. Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Very good. Listen that you don't say yes, right? You say yeah, yeah, yes, right? Thank you. Now, yes. Thank you, Gloria. Now, uh, Jose Magaña, please. Is that G A L E? Is that G A L E? Thank you. Now, Jose Perez, ready, Jose? What's up? Okay, please repeat after me, Jose. No, it's K A L E. No, it's K L E. Okie dokie, thank you. Now, please, uh, Karen Melendez, please, Karen, repeat after me, please. All right. All right. Please tell her. Please tell her. Our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. At 2.30. At 2.30. Thank you very much. Katia? Repeat, Katia. Yes. Friday at 2.30. Friday night at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? Thank you very much. Now, Lisette, please. Lisette, repeat okay. after me, Lisette. My number is 646-555-4031. My number is 646-555-4031. 3, 1. Okie dokie. Now remember the telephone numbers. The zero is pronounced O, right? Oh, yes. Sorry. You can say zero. No, no, you can say zero. No problem. It's, it's correct. But okay. the costume, la costumbre is for O, right? Okay, now. Okay. Uh, Mirna, please repeat after me. Mirna, ready? Six, yes, four, teacher. Repeat. 646 555 Yes, Mr. Kale. Six four six five 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 four or three one. Yes, Mr. K. Thank you very much. And Oscar, please, Oscar, repeat after me, Oscar. I'll give Miss Graham the message. I give Miss Graham the message. The message. The message. Thank you, Patricia. To finish, please repeat after me, Patricia. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Thank you very much. Now let's go to the second part. Can I take a message? And messages with tail and out, right? Pay attention, please. Giving a message, we may state the information, shall we? Now let's go, let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. Okay. Okay, give me a second here. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should plus person plus that. Okay, now please pay attention in the formal, right? That, that is the clue. So when you give a message, when you pass information, listen to me, when you pass information, you're not asking someone to do something, right? You're not asking someone to do something. You're just passing a message. No le estamos pidiendo a alguien que haga algo. Solo estamos diciendo, pasando una información, right? And the formula is, tell plus the person plus that. That in, excuse me, excuse me. That in this case is in parentheses, right? That means that it's an option. If you want to copy that, do it. And if you say, I don't want to copy, that's okay, no problem, right? And the statement, okay? The information you want to, to pass to the person, right? So, to begin the sentence, you can use, there are more options, but these are the most popular, right? Please, in this case, it's a sentence, not a question. Could you, it's a question. Would you, it's also a question, right? When you use could you and would you, you finish with a question mark. When you use please, you end the question with a, with a period, punto y final, with please, right? Okay, now here we have the examples. Please tell Juan that the class is at five. Uh, there is a mistake here. Aquí no debe ir este, punto, este signo de interrogación. Okay, es un punto y final. Okay, then, uh, or you omit that. You can say, please tell Juan the class is at five. Could you tell Juan that the class is at five? Okay, in this case, yes, we have a question mark, right? Could you tell Juan the class is at five? Or would you tell Juan the class is at five? Or would you tell Juan that the class is at five? So notice the, the, the variation here, right? That is an option, right? After tell, we have an object or a person, right? And then we have the information. Let's see some examples before we continue, right? We're going to start with uh, Brenda Alvarez. Uh, are you listening to me, Brenda? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see if you can do it. If, if, if not, don't worry, I will help you. Okay, le voy a ayudar si no puede, pero vamos a ver. Úsame, please. Me voy a usar please. Please. Vamos a usar a Iris. 
Okay, Iris. Iris is the, the uh -huh. first. Iris is the first word. Okay, please, Iris. And the information, listen, listen. This is the information. The dinner okay. is at Pollo Campero. Okay. The dinner is at Pollo Campero. Okay, please. Your okay. Please tell Iris that the dinner is at Pollo Campero. Congratulations. I like it. I like it, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Iris. Help me, Iris. Hello? Hello. Okay. Now you're going to use could you. Could you, right? Remember the L is mute, so you don't say cool, but you say could. Could you, right? Okay. Um, the game, you're going to use, sorry, you're going to use Roxana. Roxana, that's the, the person, right? Roxana. And the information is, the game is at La Gambeta. The game is at La Gambeta. Could you tell Roxana that the game is La Gambeta? Is la Gambeta. At La Gambeta? Like a question, at right? At La Gambeta. Again, again, but listen, you, listen the intonation. At La Gambeta. Okay. Could you tell Roxana that game is at La Gambeta? La Gambeta? La Gambeta? Okay, very good. It's a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, when you speak, it's like when, like you're singing, right? Okay, now, Roxana, please. Are you listening to me, please? Roxana? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Now, you are going to use would you. Would you. And the object is Janira. Janira is the, the, the person in this case, right? Okay, let me see. The, mm -hmm, let me see one, one sentence. The, the baby shower is at noon. Al mediodía, right? At noon. The baby shower is at noon. Is, okay. Is that? You are going to use, listen. Would you, the person is Janira, and the information is the baby shower is at noon. Okay, now tell me, please. Would you, would you? My goodness, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now, Janira, you are going yes, to teacher. use you are going to use Alan. Alan is the person, right? Okay. And now you make your own sentence, Janira. Usted invente la oración. Using tell. Okay. Could you tell, could you tell Alan? Um, the, the soccer. Uh -huh, the is, soccer game, the soccer game. The soccer game is, is at 10, 10 p.m. At 10? Like a question, right? At 10, I need to listen. Because it's a question. At, at yes. 10? At 10. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with the, the other part. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That plus the statement. And because we want to be for you or would you, notice because it may be omitted. Wait. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Okay, now message with request. Aquí si vamos a pedirle a la persona que haga algo. Okay? It's a request. And the formula is. Ask plus a person plus the preposition. Listen, preposition. And then we have the request. El request comienza con un verbo. Siempre va a haber un verbo después de la preposición to, okay? Good, now. And also we're going to use please, could you, and would you, right? Example, please ask Lucia to meet me. Look, aquí implica una acción. Que me encuentre, que haga algo. Estoy pidiendo que haga algo. To meet me in my office. Eh, otra vez no sé por qué han usado el signo de pregunta, pero bueno. Could you ask Lucia to meet me in my office? Ok, look. Aquí, aquí ya no usamos that. Aquí usamos la preposición to y luego el verbo. Ok, en los ejercicios que, que faltan, recuérdense eso. Esa es la clave para que les salga bueno. Ok. 
Now, questions. Questions, please. Preguntas. No le entendí lo último que dije. Lo último. Ok, lo último que dije. Voy a repetirlo entonces y vamos a pedirle otros ejemplos. Ok. Uh, when you use ask, right, you have to use a person o a no, que es un objeto, ¿verdad? Es un objeto del verbo, que en este caso es una persona. Inclusive podemos decir my friend, my brother, ¿verdad? No hay problema. And then, after the noun, we use a preposition to. Usamos la preposición to. No vayan a poner that aquí. Cuando usamos ask, no pongan that. ¿Ok? Y luego, después de la preposición to, tenemos el verbo. ¿Ok? Please ask Lucía to meet me in my office. Le estamos pidiendo a Lucía que haga algo, que me encuentre a mí en la oficina. Esa es la petición, the, the request. Y también, usando could, estamos diciendo lo mismo, could you ask Lucía to meet me in my office. Estamos diciendo a Lucía que me encuentre en mi oficina. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver unos ejemplos. Ok, let me see. Eh, Alan, please. Alan, to... You're going to use Angel, right? Alan, are you ready? Alan, hello, hello. Alan, can you hear me? Ok, no, quizá ya se, se nos escapó Alan, ¿verdad? Se salió del salón. <ríe> ok, now, please, uh, let me see. Volunteers, please, volunteers. Who, who, who wants to help me, please? Who wants to help me? I teacher, yo, Patricia. Okay, Patricia, ok, Patricia. Eh, you're going eh, to podría ask... ser... Patricia y me va a usar Iris. The noun Iris, right? Ajá. Ok. Please, please okay. ask Iris uh -huh. to meet me in the park. Ok. To meet me in the park. Solo le faltó la entonación, Patricia. To meet, to meet me in the park. Excellent. I like it, right? I like it. Good. Another volunteer? Otro voluntario, Another, uh, Felipe. Okay, please, Felipe, give me one example, please. Uh, the name? Uh, the name would be Katia, please, Katia. Katia. Okay. Uh, could you ask Katia um, to make the English homework? Okay. To make the English homework for me. Se lo olvidó decirle, for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. But it's a question, for me? Okay. For me. Good, that's it, right? Uh, now, do you have questions? Okay, please. Por ahí alguien tiene una pregunta, please. Help me. No questions. Hello, hello. No. No. No, no. Ok. Good. Ahora sí ya podemos ir al, 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 al ejercicio, right? Ok. Aquí ya lo hemos resuelto por el 4, 5, and 6. Aquí va la clave, ¿verdad? Pay attention. Por ahí me queda un, un micrófono encendido, please. Turn it off, please. Ok. Thank you. Now, notice that it's ask. ¿Ah? Huh? It's not tell, it's ask. Number four is ask. Okay? Number five is tell. Tell. Okay? And number six is what? Ask or tell? Help me, please. Ask. 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 Correct. Now, you know the formula, right? You know the formula. And do not forget that when you use would, it's a question. When you use please, it's just a period, ¿verdad? Por eso aquí no aparece en ningún lugar el signo de pregunta, ¿eh? Okay? Pay attention in this part, okay? Good. Any extra question? ¿Alguna pregunta extra? Okay, so let me give you a general information, right? Uh, 
para el viernes al me, a la medianoche ya tenemos que tener lista la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, recuérdense que si ustedes necesitan ayuda, hay alguna pregunta, algún punto en especial que no entiendan, mándelo al grupo. Yo ahí estoy a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? A veces en la mañana tengo clases, en la tarde también tengo clases, pero igual al terminar mis clases yo voy al grupo y reviso si hay mensajes, ¿verdad? Y ahí estamos pendientes. Eh, si quieren que tratemos un punto, como ahora me pidieron que viéramos este punto, ¿verdad? Lo vimos antes, para que quedara claro. Eh, yo estoy a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Esta clase para eso es, para explicarles todo lo que ustedes quieran. Esa es la idea, es decir, aparte que a mí me gusta explicar, ¿verdad? Porque a mí me gusta que hagan preguntas. Eh, esa es la idea, esa es la idea, que ustedes pregunten y que no se queden sin ninguna duda, ¿verdad? Y yo sé que algunos han estado ahí como que, pues, no les sale y un punto y o, o si lo hice y, o, en fin, ¿verdad? Hay algunas cositas, ¿verdad? Que no estamos tan, eh, que todo nos sale perfecto, ¿verdad? Pero sí, para eso estamos, para ayudarles y para asesorarlos. Eh, algunos de ustedes me mandan al personal, no hay problema, háganlo, no hay problema. Aunque prefiero, les soy honesto, prefiero que lo hagan al grupo, ¿verdad? es porque así yo les doy la explicación y todos agarran la explicación, ¿sí? Pero si a ustedes les da pena, son muy penosos, y no, yo no quiero escribir el grupo, ok, ni modo, ¿verdad? Hágamelo al personal, que de cualquier forma yo les voy a ayudar, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Una pregunta extra por ahí? ¿Todo está claro? Ok, espero que ese certificado tenga un 10 para todos, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, solo tengo un amigo que le va a desear buenas noches. Permítame. Hello. Hello. I just want to say good night. God bless you. Good night for you. Night. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the, the name of my friend. Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> The name of my friend is uh, Dino, Dino. 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 Dino, right? Nice okay. to meet you, Dino. <laughs> Have a good night. Good Have night. a good night. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>